Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Dylan. And I'm Tori. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center held a luncheon open to guests out of, of at least 100 years old. The centenarians and their families were invited to lunch by the St. Mary's Department of Aging and Human Services in order to honor them. This was the first centenarian luncheon held by the department. However, they stated it will become an annual event. Recently, an audit has found problems in the 911 backup center following a lightning strike, which caused a critical equipment failure at the county's backup center last year. The audit of the St. Mary's County Department of Emergency Services electrical power system came back with 40 recommendations regarding the deficiencies. The analysis of the damages showed weaknesses in eight major areas at the backup call center, including surge protection devices, system and equipment installation, and the door access system. Elementary schools are having problems with overcrowding. Hollywood and Evergreen will be moving to trailers because of overcrowding and renovations. Evergreen Elementary is 132 students over the state-rated capacity. Kim Howe, the director of capital planning, has requested that the county school board purchase a two-classroom and two-bathroom trailer for about $245,000. Hollywood Elementary will be, will be receiving a four-classroom and two-restroom unit complex. The purchases and installation of the trailer will cost over $380,000. Howe said she's hoping to have the trailers operational before the next school year. Riken senior sports players are ready for the next level. Twelve seniors graduating from Riken this year have already been snatched up to play for colleges both in-state and out-of-state. Many of Riken's boys and girls lacrosse players in particular have been picked up, as many as nine, and surely more are waiting to show their skills at the collegiate level. St. Mary's track and field athletes who competed well in the regional championships advanced to the state championships held at Morgan State University and competed for the state title. The Choptecom Braves earned third place on the final 3A boys standings and the girls finished 34th overall. Leonardtown girls placed 29th amongst 4A squads and the boys weren't able to score any points at the meet, but several performed well. Great Mills girls finished 17th in the 3A standings and boys finished 21st overall. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit smdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Tori. And I'm Dylan. Signing off.